Hello, this is Gordon State College's Advising Overview for Elementary Education. A common question is how many classes should I take? You want to keep in mind the length of the semester. The fall semester begins in August and runs through the beginning of December, so approximately 15 weeks. The spring semester begins in January and runs through the beginning of May, so also approximately 15 weeks. Summer semester is much shorter. We have a session in the month of June, which is four weeks, and a session in the month of July, which is four weeks. Full-time students typically take four to five classes, while part-time students typically take two to three. The decision to be full or part-time is simply based upon how many classes you'll be able and willing to take per semester. You'll also see the word credit hour when scheduling. Most colleges measure courses in credit hours. Most classes are worth three credit hours. There are some exceptions. Physical PE classes are only worth one credit hour. The fire and colloquial courses in area B are worth two credit hours each. And lab sciences are worth four credit hours. So if one class is equal to three credit or semester hours, then if you're taking five classes at three hours each, you'll be taking 15 hours. This is why you might see on your schedule that you're taking five classes, but you have 15 credit hours. Those essentially are the same thing. Keep in mind that we have two tracks to graduate with an elementary education degree. We have the traditional track as well as the para to teacher track. There are some similarities and differences in these tracks. The similarities are that they take the same amount of time to complete each of these programs. You take the exact same courses in the exact same order, and that's true for the pre-courses as well as the in-program courses. You have the same requirements to enter and exit the program. The main differences of the program are that the pair pro to teacher track is online coursework while the traditional track is on campus coursework. The pair pro to teacher track does require you to be a pair pro in a public school system while you're completing your last two years in the program. The traditional track program does not require any type of employment. The pair pro to teacher track, the field experiences are completed in the school system in which you are employed as a pair pro, while in the traditional track, since you aren't employed in a school system, our field director places you in a field experience. Experience. What are the required pre-courses for beginning the education program? These courses are organized in areas A through G, and these are the same for the tra traditional or pair pro to teacher track. You also might have some of these credits transferring in from previous colleges. Area A is essential skills. You'll take English 1101 and English 1102, which is Composition 1 and Composition 2. Obviously, you have to take and pass Composition 1 before you can take Composition 2. You'll also need to choose a math course. Many of our students choose Math 1001, which is Quantitative Skills and Reason, or Math 1111, which is College Algebra. It is important to note that you must score at least a C or higher in these courses. Up next we have Area B, which is Institutional Options. That is your FIRE course, which is your Freshman Introduction to Reasoning Essentials, and your Colloquium course. Your Colloquium course is taken after you've completed English 1101 as well as 1102. Some students may not take the FIRE course based upon the number of incoming transfer credits. In Area C, the Humanities and Fine Arts, you'll have two courses. One will be a Humanities elective. You might choose things like Public Speaking, Art or Music Appreciation, Theater Appreciation, a Humanities course, or perhaps a Foreign Language course. Then you'll also take one Upper Level English or Philosophy course. You might choose World American or British Literature, or maybe Philosophy or Ethics. So again, you have choices here. You're only taking two courses. Next, we're moving into Area D, which is our Science, Math, and Technology section. You're going to take two Lab Sciences. Lab Science 1, you can choose between a variety, Mini Pick Biology 1111, or perhaps the first Astronomy, the first Geology, or the first Chemistry. And then you have your Lab Science 2. Now, some students follow up and maybe take Biology 1 and then take Biology 2 here, or Astronomy 1 and then Astronomy 2, or Geology 1 and Geology 2. You don't have to do that, however, and you can mix it up. For Lab Science 1, you take, might take Biology 1, and then for Lab Science 2, you might take Geology 1. Um, so you can go within the sequence or mix and match. Then you also have an extra Math or Science here, and that can be three or four credit hours. You can take Biology 1101, which is only a three-hour science. You could take Computer Programming, which is three hours, introductory, Introduction to Statistics, which is three credit hours, or maybe another four-hour lab science that you didn't take previously. 
Now let's look at our Area E Social Sciences. You'll take a Western Civ or World History. You can take Part 1 or Part 2. You can take American History, Part 1 or Part 2. These are broken into parts based upon the chronological order of the events. So Western Civ 1 is going to be more ancient civilizations, while Western Civ 2 is going to be more modern. American History Part 1 is going to be more um, beginning of American history, while Part 2 is going to be more modern times. Then you'll want to pick two social science electives. Most of our students pick psychology and sociology. You might choose American government, economics, or another history course you haven't taken. Next is Area G, which is your health and PE requirements. You'll have one health course, which is a three credit hour course. You can take PHED 1001 or 1010 in this area. Then you'll also have a physical PE course left to take, and that will only be a one credit hour course. And you can take things like jogging, pace walking, aerobics, weight training, or other physical um, activity courses. Now we're moving into Area F, which is going to be your elementary education courses. You'll take Education 21, 10, 20, and 30, which are the foundation education courses. You do have to take 21, 10, or 20 before you can take 21, 30. Then you'll take Math 2008, which you must take Area A Math first, and you'll take ISCI 2001 and 2002. And before taking those, you'll want to have taken your Area A Math and at least one Area D Science first. Keep in mind that you must score at least a C or higher on all of these courses. You can also find some important information about applying to the education program on our website. So on our website, if you choose Academics and then choose the School of Education, over on the side, you'll choose Elementary and Special Education. And notice you have a web page for the tr traditional track as well as a web page for the Pair Pro to Teacher track. So when selecting that, you'll see information about who the degree is designed for, you'll see the requirements for the field experiences which you enter the program, and then you'll see the requirements for applying to the education program. So notice you'll have an application, you'll have some recommendation forms and disposition forms to turn in, as well as a GACE um, ethics course to take, which is independent of Gordon State College and required for any school system offering um, teacher certification. Same thing for the Pair Pro to Teacher, so it's right here, the, the link to that page. Some information about who this program is designed for, some information about the program itself and how the field experiences work. If you are interested in the Pair Pro to Teacher, make sure that you read this section um, about the field experiences in the MOU. That um, is, is very important information about how you're going to do your field experiences in the school system where you are employed. Um, and then below you have the links and information to apply to the education program, including your recommendation forms, your disposition forms, the application itself, um, as well as information about how to complete the GACE ethics and a document that shows you and steps you through how to apply for that and complete it.